Uh, I really wanted to do this at the halfway point of the year, but I'm a little bit late, but better late than never. It's July 25th as of me recording this. So this is my top 10 favorite action figures of the year 2021. Halfway point, baby. I'm gonna go shelf by shelf. I'm gonna take you along for this process. I'm gonna start pulling figures off. And then once I have the assortment of selected figures that made this cut, then I'll whittle it down to my top 10. Let's just go ahead and get started. Hopefully I don't pull anything from 2020 because I lose track when this stuff comes out. This stuff might've come out last year, late last year. If I made any errors there, please correct me in the comments. Say, hey dumbass, that figure came out in freaking 2015. <laughs> By the way, at the end of the year, when I'm doing my top 10 of the entire year, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this video as a point of reference and kind of compare where was I at the halfway point of the year? Where am I now at the end of the year? But let's go ahead and get these figures off these damn shelves and onto this damn table. All right, there is a lot to choose from here. Here's the new collection, by the way, the new setup of the collection. Um, here's the high-end wall. Don't mind these. These are spoiler alert for uh, another video. But I'm just gonna start over here. And I see a figure here that I'm definitely going to pull. Uh, definitely gonna pull this one. This was one of my most anticipated figures of the year. I really, really like this Thor figure. This is the new Thor Avengers Assemble. Do I want to include the Hulk? I really do like the Hulk. I really like the Taskmaster, not Crossbones, dummy. You said Crossbones like 11 times in that video. But the Hulk, I'm gonna go ahead and pull him. Gotta include this big badass right here. See if I can get him out without knocking everything over. Oh, there goes Scorpion, fatality. Uh, we're gonna skip the Hot Toys for now. I'm not gonna include any Hot Toys in this one because honestly, I haven't gotten a whole lot of Hot Toys this year. I mean, there's been a few. I've gotten some Spider-Mans and whatnot. Here you go, guys. For all the Hot Toys collectors out there, my favorite Hot Toy so far this year, favorite Hot Toy so far this year is this guy right here, Beskar Steel Mandalorian. I, I am getting more Hot Toys in. I really, 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 really like this one too. You know what, I forgot the Motu Origins up here. I got a lot of figures to choose from, Motu Origins wise. I gotta say, I really, really like, you're coming with me, my friend. You're coming with me too. Oh, good Lord. Beast Man down. Hmm, I really like the Hellboy. I think that came out last year though. I'm pretty sure that came out last year. This though, for sure, came out this year. Christopher Reeve, Mezco Soups, Mutagen Man, Bebop. I really like them both. But this figure right here, look at this. The translucent plastic, the organs floating inside. How freaking awesome is that? All right, here we go. It's definitely the Stone Cold, Ultimate Stone Cold Steve Austin. I gotta say though, I really, really like old Luchasaurus here. I really, really like the Scarlet Witch and I really, really like that vision. Villain Shelf, holy cow, so many great ones. Starting with this guy right here. It was the last one that I got in this wave and it has become my favorite one in this wave. I originally said Lady Deathstrike right there was my favorite one in the wave. It is now Red Skull. And I gotta include this one too. This is such a great figure. This MODOK right here, freaking amazing. Uh, let's see, Zartan, gotta pull that one. Another one of the figures that I was most looking forward to this year. And I will also pull Major Blood. So two G.I. Joe Classified. Uh, maybe Flint. I really like the Galvatron. I really like Cyclonus, but the figure that I have liked the most this year is this one right here. Kickstarter, Spawn, love this figure. I do like that Shao Kahn a lot. I do like this, what's his name, Kane from Alien. Here's my new horror shelf, loving this. There's the uh, Time Traveler shelf, I gotta include this one. I really like the Creep from Creep Show. I really like that one. All right, and there we go. There's the spread. 
So we have, let's do the final count. 20 figures. I gotta get rid of half of these. I gotta whittle these down and get rid of half of these. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, take a break <laughs> and let me look at these and then I'll tell you who's left out of these 20. All right, I have whittled down the 20 to 10. So first I'm gonna show you the 10 that did not make my top 10. So these are the, all the runners up so far. These guys are no slouches. I mean, I pulled them off my shelves. There's a lot of figures that came out this year. There's a lot of figures that I bought, but these are the ones that I pulled off. So they are some of my favorites. They're just not top 10 right now. Again, some of these could creep in at the end of the year, but uh, let me show you which ones are the runner ups so far. All right, here are 11 through 20. I did not rank them. They're just basically a big cluster of runner ups. But we're gonna start with Doc Brown from Back to the Future 2, the Hulk from Avengers Assemble, SH Figure Arts, the Thor, this was the, uh, I think this would be number 11. If I was actually ranking them through 20, this was number 11. I really, really like this figure, but I felt like I was giving it a higher rank than it kind of deserved just because I really like that accessory of the spinning Mjolnir. Luchasaurus, excellent, excellent figure. Great, great paint, great detail, but didn't crack my top uh, 10. Kickstarter Spawn, awesome figure, great shelf presence, didn't crack the top 10. Uh, Motu Origins Trapjaw, Mutagen Man, Scarlet Witch, The Creep from Creep Show, and Triclops from Origin. So those are your runners up guys. If you uh, remember what I was pulling off the shelves, you know what my top 10 are, but now it's time for me to rank them. That's the hard part. So let me go ahead and rank them from 10 to one and I'll show you my current top 10 as of the halfway point of 2021. All right, I think I have the rankings down. We're gonna start at the number 10 spot and at number 10 is the Ultimates Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very, very freaking awesome figure. I think this is my favorite wrestling figure of the year so far. We'll see how he stands at the end of the year, but I really, really like this Stone Cold Steve Austin WWE Ultimates figure. At number nine, we have a Marvel Legends figure. Again, this was the final one that I bought in this wave. I thought that Lady Deathstrike was gonna be the highlight of the wave for me, but as it turned out, this is my favorite figure of the villains wave. So, Zemnu wave, it's Red Skull. So he is number nine in my top 10 so far of 2021. And at number eight is uh, my favorite Transformers figure of the year. This is, uh, well, so far. This is the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. Holding the Matrix of Leadership there. Studio Series 86 from the 86 Transformers movie. Freaking awesome figure. Just very, very cool. I mean, it looks like a masterpiece figure for 20 odd dollars. So just an awesome job by Hasbro there. There is 10, 9, and 8, my friends. All right, guys. So here is 7, 6, and 5. You just saw 10, 9, and 8. At number seven, we have a Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figure. This is Motaro. Just an absolute presence, just a shelf presence. Uh, I have the bloody version, just so freaking awesome looking, huge. Number six, just a freaking absolutely beautiful Marvel Legends sculpt right here. This is Modok. I mean, look at that sculpt. This is a Marvel Legends figure right here. And look at that damn sculpt. Just absolutely gorgeous. Number six, Marvel Legends, Modok. Is that my favorite Marvel Legends figure? That's my favorite Marvel Legends figure of the year so far, guys. Favorite Legends figure of the year so far. Number six, Modok. Number five, this is one of my most anticipated figures of the year. This is G.I. Joe Classified Zartan. He's actually, if you notice, not my favorite G.I. Joe Classified figure of the year anymore. He was. He was my number one classified figure of the year, but if you notice, he is not. Let's go ahead and get to my favorite classified figure of the year in four, three, and two. All right, here we go with four, three, and two. So here you go. This is my new favorite G.I. Joe classified figure of 2021. It is Major Blood. He was kind of a bitch to get, but uh, I know he got a little easier to find. Target started stocking him, so hopefully everyone that wanted a Major Blood was able to get him because he is freaking fantastic. Look at that face sculpt. And look at the armor and look at the arm. I mean, he is absolutely an A plus to me. 
but there is Major Blood, my favorite classified figure of the year so far. And just looking at my stuff, my favorite Hasbro made figure of the year so far. So kind of says a lot right there. Major Blood, very, very cool. Number four so far this year. Number three is a Mafex figure and it is the triumphant Batman. Once again, this was one of my most anticipated figures of the year. He did not let down. He's my third favorite figure of the entire year. I do need to swap out the head sculpt. I heard that the unmasked head sculpt looks really, really good. I have never used it. I have always had this head sculpt on, so I'm gonna swap it out, and uh, maybe by the end of the year, it will grow on me so much that he will ascend in ranking from three to possibly two or one, but we'll see. Mafex Triumphant Dark Knight Returns Batman. Awesome figure. And the runner-up to my favorite figure of the year so far, I'm sure it's a lot of people's favorites. It is a Mafex figure. He is from Into the Spider-Verse. He is voiced by Jake Johnson. His name is Peter B. Peter B. Parker. And this is just an awesome figure. This just goes to show how well Mafex can do plastic and soft goods. Because the sweatpants, the jacket, everything, the accessories, the head sculpts, I mean, look at that head sculpt. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Very, very cool. My second favorite figure of the year so far is Peter B. So there's four, three, and two. And now guys, it's time for my favorite figure of the year so far. Let's go ahead and see which one it is. All right, here he is. Number one in my book. My favorite figure of 2021 so far, halfway point, is this guy right here. Is he gonna be number one at the end of the year? He has a very, very good chance to because right now he's my favorite. It's the Christopher Reeve Superman by Mezco. And this thing is just a work of art. Beautiful use of soft goods, beautiful use of the cape and the wire in the cape. Just one of the coolest bases I've ever seen. Fortress of Solitude, the crystals, just absolutely awesome. It lights up, it's got lights. Say what you will about Mezco. I know a lot of people don't like Mezco, that's fine. That's fine, you don't have to like everything. But as for me, this one right here, it's got the nostalgic factor. It's got me in the feels because I remember Christopher Reeve, I remember watching this movie when it first came out. And look at the head sculpt. I mean, does it get any better than that? Just absolutely, Freaking perfect in my book. That's my number one figure so far this year, the Christopher Reeve Superman by Mezco. Go get it, it's a great figure, 100% recommend it. Uh, but what I also did is I did do a live stream uh, last week and I asked everyone, just so I can kind of remember what has come out this year, what some of your favorite figures of the year were. And I got a lot of uh, recommendations and a lot of suggestions and a lot of favorite figures, some of which I did not have. So I actually went and I purchased some of the figures, some of your favorite figures of the year that I did not already have, including this one right here. This is the modular Iron Man. Now, obviously this didn't make the ranking because it's still in package. I haven't even opened it yet. So once I open it, get it posed, see how I like it. I don't know, this one might end up at the end of the year in the uh, favorite figures of the year. Here's another one. This is a Black Series Asajj Ventress. This was a lot of people's favorite Black Series figure of the year, Asajj Ventress. They said it's a great figure. I had planned on getting her. I just kept putting it off and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna check this figure out. So I picked it up and there it is. And she might be there at the end of the year, you never know. And then one more Black Series figure that I picked up is this Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, Deluxe Boba Fett. So got him, he looks great, lots of accessories. I hear great things about this figure. Again, haven't taken it out of the package yet, so we'll see how it is, how it looks, how it poses. And you never know, by the end of the year, it could be in the top 10. But hey guys, thanks for watching. I want you to do me a favor though. If you could go in the comments section below, even if you watched this during the premiere and you were commenting during the premiere, if you could go in the comments section below and just let me know maybe what your top three favorite figures are so far of 2021, I wanna know what your favorites are. So please do comment below. Let me know what your top three favorite figures. It could be any 
figure. It could be Hot Toys even. What are your top three of the year? I wanna know. Thanks for watching once again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Check me out on the lives this week. I will be live on my own channel, on other people's channels. But thanks for watching guys and have fun collecting. I'll see you around the corner.